So let's look at some problems that involve balanced forces. Now remember balanced forces occur when the object is moving at a constant velocity or if it's at rest. So, oh, I don't know, let's say we have a, let's have a boy in a swing, in a tire swing. Uh, <laughs> here he is. He's in this tire swing. Um, let's give the tire swing a mass of 25 kilograms. And let's say the boy has a mass of 27 kilograms. And he's kind of sad because he's not actually swinging. Uh, but if he has a mass of 27 kilograms, what? let's just solve for all of the forces acting on him. Let's just start with that. So first we want to draw a system schema. So we're talking about the boy. And the boy has Earth acting on him. And that is happening through gravity. So we have the force of gravity acting because he's on Earth. And then he also has the swing. Now he's sitting on the swing, so we can consider that a surface. So there's going to be a normal force pushing up on him. And now we want to visualize this in a force diagram. So if we draw our boy, he is going to have, let's use our ruler. He is going to have the force of gravity acting straight down on him. And he is going to have the normal force acting straight up on him. Now I did not measure that, but we know that he is at rest and so that these forces are going to be balanced. Because those are the only two forces acting in that direction. Which we can represent right, in our force sum equations. So the sum of the forces acting in the y direction are going to be gravity and normal. And since he's not moving, they are balanced, so they're going to be equal to zero. So since we're trying to find all of the forces involved, we only have gravity and normal. So this is pretty straightforward because we know that the force of gravity is going to be equal to the mass times the gravitational constant. Now the force of gravity acting on our boy, uh, our boy has a mass of 27 kilograms. And our gravitation constant is negative since we're, this is going to be our negative direction, 10 newtons per kilogram. The kilograms are going to cancel out. So our force of gravity is going to be equal to 270 negative newtons. So to find our normal, remember this is an equation. So to find our normal, we can plug this back into our equation. So we have negative 270, which is our force of gravity, newtons, plus the normal force equals zero. So then to solve for the normal force, we're just going to add 270 on both sides and find the normal force to be positive 270 newtons. So that makes sense, it's balanced. So we have the same force pulling down as we have going up, so our boy is not moving. Now what if we're interested in the tire? Let's do the same thing for the tire and see how this changes some things. So our tire is here, and let's see, what do we've got? We've got, we still have Earth, pulling down with gravity. Now we have a rope here that is, or the tree, has a rope on it that is pulling up with some tension force. And then we also have the boy. So the boy is also still interacting with the tire because if the tire is interacting, the swing is interacting with the boy, then the boy is going to be interacting with the swing. So this is actually going to be the weight of the boy. Right, so this is the weight of the boy pulling down on the tire. That's going to be a force acting on it. So our force diagram, if we draw this, we are going to have, let's see, what's this going to look like? We have our tension force keeping it upright. We have gravity pulling down, always. But then we also have the weight of the boy pulling down. Okay. So we have two forces that are pulling. Let's try this out the fan. So we have, what do we have? We have two forces pulling down with gravity on our, on our swing, but then we also have the weight of the boy. So those two things are um, both pulling down on the swing. 
So this tension force, these are balanced. And so this tension force pulling up is going to be equal to the force of gravity plus the weight of our boy. But we don't know that these two things are equal. We can actually look at that here in a second and see that they absolutely are not. But let's look at that. So we've got, we have our forces in our y direction. We have our force of tension on our swing plus the weight of the boy plus the force of gravity of the swing itself. And now again, we're still not moving, so this is going to be equal to zero. So our tension force is pulling up, or the weight of our bull, bull, bull. <laughs> the weight of our boy is pulling down, and the weight of our swing is also pulling down. So we have two forces acting down, and we have one force acting up. So what can we find here? Well, we found the weight of the boy up here. The force of, the, of gravity of the boy, we already have. So we can plug that in. The weight of gravity on the swing is going to be the mass of the swing times the gravitational constant. And that's going to be a negative 250 newtons. So we have that. And the only thing we don't know is going to be our force of tension. And we don't really have any way to find that math-wise, but that's the only force that we have left. So if we move this over here and this over here, our force of tension is going to be negative 270 plus negative 250. And when we move it over there, it's going to be positive. So it's going to be positive 520. So looking at this, we now have the force of tension on our rope. We have the force of gravity on our, on our swing, and we have the force of gravity or the weight of our boy, boy, boy pulling down. I cannot say boy today. Okay. So in this situation, we can, we can solve for different things. So we can solve for the force on the boy. We can solve the force on the swing. We could probably do the tree if we wanted.